Welcome to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. Here's what's coming up in the next half hour. In this episode, you'll learn how to make a healthy quinoa salad. We'll witness how one man has helped pave the way for a better life for Hawaii's kupuna. We'll follow two of Hawaii's aunties as they continue a long-running UH tradition. Find out how to keep your posture straight from moon physical therapy. And we'll head over to the Blaisdell for the Mayor's Annual Craft and Country Fair. Generations TV starts now. What do you get when you combine the excitement of a Wahine's volleyball game with the beauty of a flower lay? On Oahu, you get the volleyball aunties. Right now I'm picking about 2,000 flowers a day. During the summer, I can pick about 3,000 flowers a day. So, so it's a time commitment, which is why I don't sow too much lay anymore. I spend too much time picking it. Gail Harimoto is one of the volleyball aunties who for years has been helping boost morale for the UH Wahines in an unusual way with flowers. But Gail gets other benefits too. The reason I do it is it's therapeutic. I started enjoying it and um, it's my downtime, my think time, my, you know, relax time. People think it's nuts, but I do get relaxed when I pick the flowers, so. Today, Gail is collecting crown flowers to string for lay. The waxy and sturdy flowers are found all over Asia and the Pacific, where they're prized for their durable fiber and medicinal qualities. And in Hawaii, they play host plant to the island's non-migratory monarch butterflies, and they are turned into beautiful lay. Overnight, the flowers bloom. The flowers also bloom in the morning and then in the afternoon. So by the time I come out, there are three, actually three different kinds of blooms. The buds, so this is a bud and then when you pop it open, it'll eventually flatten out. The ones that are already bloomed, like this. So this one is blooming, and in the afternoon, it'll be more bloomed. The petals will, be, will start turning downwards. So there, that's a third type of uh, bloom that I pick. Well, you know, I made a lot of friends because of that, celebrities as well as non, and that's how actually I got involved in PBS Hawaii with Le Leslie Wilcox was through my lay and she eventually asked me to be on the board of PBS Hawaii, which I served for six years. Gail, along with volleyball auntie Loretta, started making lay for the Wahines and splitting all the work. When we first started this, I sold half and she sold half. But then it got to be a lot of time picking and a couple of my neighbors planted trees for me. So I started picking from that, those trees. And then it started taking me five hours a day and so Loretta ended up sewing all the lay by herself since I spent so much time picking and was too tired after I finished. Picking thousands of flowers is exhausting, but the health benefits keep Gail in shape, stretching for the high flowers, bending down for the low ones. But there are also hazards. Sunflower has a pretty deadly sap, so I usually wear protective uh, gear to cover my eyes and uh, all my arms and gloves. Otherwise, um, and even if it gets on your face, it can cause some irritation. So a couple of times I had it fall on my lips because the face mask wasn't covering it. And your lips will get like you've been at the dentist and you had a shot. It gets numb. That's how deadly this, this uh, sap is. I've been to the eye doctor four or five times because of it. It is pretty deadly. And to be sure she doesn't pass it along, Gail rinses the sap from the flowers before handing them off to Loretta Sawaki, as she's been doing for decades. Okay, Loretta, here's the flowers. So after I pick the flowers, I rinse them out, I bag them, and eventually Loretta will come and pick them up or I'll get it to her. Usually she picks it up from my house. So this is where I do my lay. That's where I sit and do my lays all the time. 
and then I but today I'm going to do it here, you know, just to show you. Loretta is the other half of this laymaking machine. It's, it's not hard, you know, but it's time consuming, you know. So it takes me about two to three nights to sew all my lace. But I like to spread the aloha. I do it from the heart. That's, to me, that's important. Over the years, Loretta has made thousands of lay for the wahines. Her hobby has even turned her house into somewhat of a lay factory. My house refrigerator is always full, and so I had to tell my husband, oh, I need another refrigerator for our cold drinks, but actually it was for my lay. He didn't see anything. He's, he's a good man. <laughs> you know, after many years, I learned how to really handle the flowers, how to, you know, sow them faster and, and take care of them, and so it comes out, you see? How nice it is. Um, let's see, I started two days ago. And do you know that this is Queen Lily Okalani's favorite lei, and it's the purple lei that's her favorite. Some people don't know that, you know? But when they find out, they go, oh, wow. Loretta not only makes lei for the entire UH Wahine team, she also makes lei for the opposing team. That's about 40 lei per game. Another thing that I do is make signs for the players and they love their signs. We try to make one for each player. We try to match the name with the sign or how they play, you know? We play with words. They always look for their signs, you know? With all the excitement of the games, she also gets some added health benefits. I have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and if I don't use my hand, it's gonna get stiff. My doctor tells me it's good that I'm, you know, using my hand, you know. And to keep my mind sharp too, because I'm 81, you know. <laughs> and so, you know, I get forgetful. But, you know, you have to keep moving, no matter what, yeah. If you want to live long, you have to move. No matter how much pain you have, you just got to move. That's my, you know, theory. You know, you, if you want to live long, you have to move. And enjoy everything, you know, enjoy life every day, like it's your last day on earth, you know? I try to, <laughs> that's why I'm doing this, because I enjoy doing, people tell me I'm crazy, you know? But I don't think so, you know? I love to do things for people, and I like to help them out, and do whatever I can for them. Loretta and Gail are two prized and much-loved volleyball aunties, whose love for flower lay is only surpassed by their love for the team. Lejano is now open in the heart of Kapolei. The all-inclusive lifestyle allows our residents to enjoy chef-inspired meals, daily activities, and custom wellness programs, as well as housekeeping and transportation services. Ilima at Lejano features luxury amenities such as an outdoor pool, fitness center, and a full-service spa and salon. A range of apartment styles are available, most with private lanai's. Call now to reserve your new home and ask about our current move-in specials. I had always wanted to write a book and thought I would have the time. Things never go quite the way you'd hope for. Until I met my grandson, Milo, my little muse. I think being a cowboy is his favorite. Mine too. I'm so grateful I had the time to finish. This is for you, Milo. It's time for another Generations TV resource moment. Shining the spotlight on people, organizations, businesses, and services that benefit Hawaii's kupuna. What we do at Ameriprise is what I call holistic financial planning. So we do retirement planning, long-term care planning, and legacy planning. And the idea is we want people to live life by choice rather than chance. I appreciate being a part of the Generations magazine uh, Ohana because they have provided so much value and services over the decades that I've been with, uh, involved with them that I just love being a part of it. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Darlene Nakayama. I'm a Chief Executive Officer at the Palolo Chinese Home. And I'd like to thank the Generations Magazine for giving us this opportunity to showcase the services we provide here at Palolo. We provide skilled nursing care, hospice care, adult residential care home, senior daycare center. And we also provide services in the community, which includes personal care, home delivered meals, and house cleaning. Our telephone number is 737-2555. You can reach us at info at palolohome.org. Visit our website at www.palolohome.org. We are there, day one, with baby names and a gift that lasts a lifetime. We are there as you grow, protecting you and those you love. And we are there as you start your next chapter. We are with you through life's journey. We are Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. Get to know us at socialsecurity.gov. This video produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Need more information? Pick up Generations Magazine at any state library, wherever seniors go, or on our website. Listen to Generations Radio, Saturdays from 5 to 6 p.m. and Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. on AM 690. Or find us online at generations808.com and Facebook. Plus, catch us every Wednesday night at 7.30 and all through the week on Spectrum OC16. That's Channel 12. Now, more Generations TV, brought to you by Financial Benefits Insurance Incorporated. Welcome to Generations TV. I'm Percy Ihara, your host. And today we have a special healthy cooking segment with Chef Michi. So Chef, what are we cooking today? We're gonna to make a healthy quinoa salad and I'm gonna serve it with a side of salmon for a really healthful meal. Cool, let's get going, I can't wait. So to make the quinoa salad, of course, you're gonna have the quinoa, and we're gonna use some fresh spinach, some diced tomatoes, and some Normandy vegetables, which I've just run through hot water so they're defrosted. We have some interesting spices. We have some curry, some turmeric, cumin, and feta cheese, of course, and we're gonna use some seasoning. You can also use bouillon cubes. This is really easy. We're just gonna season our water. We're gonna put our flavoring or your bouillon cubes we're going to put some cumin and turmeric and our curry powder. Give that a quick stir and then just pour in your quinoa. We're going to boil it on the stove for roughly about 20 minutes. The really neat thing about quinoa is you know exactly when it's done. These little mountain peaks are going to form. This is such a simple dish. All you need to do is add in the vegetables and the spinach to the cooked quinoa and just toss it all together. And to finish this dish, we're gonna put some fresh diced tomato and feta on top, and that is really it. Chef Michi added salmon to our quinoa salad. So Yvonne, how is that? Mmm, yum. Catch our next segment with Chef Michi on healthy cooking tips, brought to you by Generations TV. For more information about Chef Michi, give her a call at 808-286-6484. Elima at Lejano is now open in the heart of Kapolei. The all-inclusive lifestyle allows our residents to enjoy chef-inspired meals, daily activities, and custom wellness programs, as well as housekeeping and transportation services. Elima at Lejano features luxury amenities such as an outdoor pool, fitness center, and a full-service spa and salon. A range of apartment styles are available, most with private lanai's. Call now to reserve your new home and ask about our current move-in specials. Here's an event that you'll want to put on your calendar right away. It's Elima at Lejano Senior Holiday Health Fair, a free community event in Kapolei that celebrates all aspects of well-being for Kupuna. Physical, emotional, financial, and best of all, fun. Plus, special guest celebrity chef Sam Choi. Put it on your calendar now. The Senior Holiday Health Fair at Elima at Lejano on Saturday, December 9th from 10 till 2. Call 797-3316. Generations TV presents another helpful tip for seniors. From Moon Physical Therapy, here's Julie Moon. Hi everyone. So if you saw the last show where I demonstrated a seated postural exercise that it could help to improve your posture, 
You should all be experts by now because you've been practicing. So today I'm gonna show you a progression of that exercise which will challenge you a little bit more. So Kimberly is standing against the wall. What she's gonna do first is pull her head back straight so that her head is pushing into the wall. If your head's a little bit more forward and it's uncomfortable, you could always fold up a little towel to provide some cushion. Then she's gonna pull her shoulders back and down, palms facing out. She's pushing her arms into the wall, feeling those muscles contract. She wants to make sure that her knees are not locked, so her knees are slightly bent. And then the last thing is she's gonna pull her abdominals in, tightening her tummy muscles so that the small of her back is flushed up against the wall. She's gonna hold this for 10 seconds, counting out loud to prevent any Seven, holding of her breath. Eight, and then she's gonna nine, relax by stepping away ten. from the wall. Each time you wanna get back into that position, feeling those muscles contract. So you wanna do this 10 to 20 times, and the more you practice, the better you'll feel, and you'll be on your way to living well. Here at Moon Physical Therapy off of Ward Avenue, we have aquatic physical therapy and our new HydroWorks 300, which is an underwater treadmill. We also have land-based physical therapy. And if you want to contact me, my phone number is 597-1005. Thanks for watching. Another helpful tip for seniors from Generations TV. Mood Physical Therapy is stepping into the future with its brand new addition, the HydroWorks 300 Sport. The only underwater treadmill in the state. The HydroWorks 300 Sport is easily accessible and is perfect for rehabilitation and daily exercise. Using the most advanced jet technology, video monitoring system, and the ability to increase or decrease resistance by changing the depth of the water, the HydroWorks 300 Sport is your source for optimal therapy and performance. It's only available on Ward Avenue. Mood Physical Therapy. Therapy that achieves results. It's time for another Generations TV resource moment. Shining the spotlight on people, organizations, businesses, and services that benefit Hawaii's kupuna. So hip hip hooray! Today we look at a true resource in the field of gerontology in Hawaii. Dr. Anthony Lenzer, who was recently honored with the title of 2017 Hawaii Gerontology Pioneer. Tony's career spans decades. Well, I'm 87, and I think I've gotten here by dumb luck. And a lot of hard work. There's so many aspects of Tony. Should I talk about Tony the teacher? Tony the founder. Tony the television producer. Tony as an advocate. Tony the singer. <laughs> he is what we call a gerontologist gerontologist. <laughs> and he's also what we call an active ager. Most of my life I have been what's called a gerontologist, and that's a person who studies the aging process, uh, older people and their needs, and the development of programs and services to meet those needs. His career started with the University of Michigan School of Public Health. In 1969, he joined the faculty of UH and helped develop the gerontology program at the UH School of Public Health. When you're with him, you feel like you're with a global person. You know, and he's my nominee for the most, for the decent human being of the year for 2018. Wow. The recent honor by the Hawaii Pacific Gerontological Society was the latest in many awards and commendations that Tony has received. Tony also served as the first director of the UH Center on Aging and was the first president of the Hawaii Pacific Gerontological Society and currently serves as emeritus board member. He also works with Kokua Council, the Policy Advisory Board for Elder Affairs, the Hawaii Family Caregiver Coalition, and the Hawaii Alliance for Retired Americans, and spent several legislative sessions to Senator Leslie Hara, Jr. Dr. Lenzer's current focus is to increase the number of caregivers in Hawaii. One of Tony's major accomplishments was producing an instructional video series in the 90s for the UH Center on Aging called Growing Old in a New Age. It explores the impact of aging on both individuals and societies and looks at the common misconceptions about aging. The series is still in use today. Two years ago, after an illness, I realized that my time was limited, and that I had a lot of personal business that was left undone. Struggling with certain decisions, I came to believe that I probably was not the only 
older person who is having these kinds of problems and facing these kinds of end of life decisions. So I thought, why not develop a course on end of life issues for other older adults? And fortunately, the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute was receptive and uh, Joel Merchant and I have now given our fourth such course completed two weeks ago. And I look forward to other learning and teaching opportunities of this kind in the future. Generations Magazine shines the spotlight on a true pioneer in the field of gerontology, Dr. Tony Lenzer. If you're new to Medicare, we can help you work your way through all the questions, the details, and the headaches. Generations TV has gathered experts in the field to help you find the answers. This is Navigating Medicare. Hi, I'm back again. This is Ed speaking on Medicare Hints. A lot of people may not realize that they may qualify for extra financial assistance to help pay for their premiums and prescription drug costs, depending on their income and their total assets. These savings can be especially helpful for seniors who are on a fixed income. Find out if you qualify. Call us. Helping you work your way through the confusion. Navigating Medicare. Brought to you today by Financial Benefits Insurance, serving the entire state of Hawaii from the corner of P.E. Koi and Kapi'olani in Honolulu. Now, more Generations TV, brought to you by Financial Benefits Insurance Incorporated. Hi, Percy here with Generations TV. We're here at the 43rd Mayor's Craft and Country Fair. We're gonna check out a few vendors, we're going to see what they're selling out here. Let's go see what it's all about. This is a great event, crafts made by our seniors in our various senior clubs around every park around this island. It's a hidden secret, but today you can see they all come out with incredible wares, and you can buy incredible gifts to take home to your families for Thanksgiving or during the holiday season. Take care. What I like the most is just interacting with the seniors. They have a lot of energy. They're hugging me, they're asking me to buy things, they're teasing me. Just a lot of positive energy. They're happy to be here. And I hope the folks of the city and county of Honolulu come down here and, and look at the wares that are being produced and just interacting. Their aunties, their tutus, their uncles, they're all here today. You know, everybody thinks that once a person is a, quote, senior, that uh, they slow down, they can't do much. But some of these people are just true craftsmen, such talents that if you don't come and look at these things, you, you would miss what these people can still do. I love to do it because I love to talk <laughs> and meet new people. <laughs> All the seniors that are very active, very young, and very happy. One of the reasons we love coming here is it, it showcases the talents of our members in making all these crafts because we have craft classes, lay making classes, ceramic classes at our senior center. And also it helps us because we subsidize many of our luncheons during the year. So this gives us the added revenue to do that. Just dues alone does not do it. They have great bargains and they can help all the different senior clubs, you know, raise money for their clubs and everything. When we're at events like this, seniors come up to us and they say, wow, I never knew that a service like this existed. And so they're really happy to find out that there may be a resource for them. After you hit the age of 50, you lose about 1% muscle mass every year. So what we try to do is offer in-home personal training, focus our exercises on the kinds of functional activities that will help them with their everyday function. Nice meeting you. I was nice meeting you too. We have an underwater treadmill, which is the HydroWorks 300. We're the only one on the island that has it. We can do exercises at different depths. We're able to um, vary the depth inch by inch according to the patient's height or their comfort level. It, it actually, it gives me a euphoric feeling. 
I used to be a swimmer, and since I'm banged up, I can't go in the water. So this is a really good substitute. It just makes me feel better. I love seeing people get healthier, happier. I love seeing people recover from their pains. I love seeing people improve their quality of life. Acupuncture is great for treating all sorts of chronic conditions, chronic pain, helping with digestion, helping with organ systems. Um, can really improve your quality of life and boost your health. It's like coming to another family, you know, you join and you meet so many different people, you get to know so many different cultures because we have all different races in our club, and which makes it more special, I think. I love to do flowers, I love to do crafts, and I love to ride horses and farming. I'm so happy that, you know, this is our first time entering the lay contest. And then, you know, why not pull out to be number one? The city and county of Honolulu has more than 35 senior clubs, over 3,500 participants island-wide. For more information, call 808-763-3003 or go to generations808.com and click on resources. Generations TV presents another helpful tip for seniors. As we mature, our eyesight changes, and sometimes it changes so slowly we don't realize how bad our vision has become. All kind of problems with eyesight come with maturity. Cataracts can cause cloudy, blurred vision, glaucoma causes severe damage, and you may not even know you have it. Floaters or tiny spots or flecks that float across your eye can be harmless, but it may be an indication of more serious eye damage. And as we age, our eyes cannot gather as much light as they used to, so we see the world darker. You need to increase the light in your house. Make your lights brighter. Always turn on a light when you get up to go to the restroom at night. Even better, install night lights. Be proactive and prevent a fall. Have your eyes checked at least once a year. Need more information? Pick up Generations Magazine at any state library, wherever seniors go, or on our website. Listen to Generations Radio Saturdays from 5 to 6 p.m. and Sunday from 3 to 4 p.m. on AM 690. And find us online at generations808.com and Facebook. Generations Magazine, we are Hawaii's resource for life.